We have this idea about how you could teach in a different way, how students could learn and develop their competencies in your course, capture it, and send your idea on a journey with Innovatum. Innovatum helps you realize your idea by supporting you with advice, connections and resources. I've been working with Innovatum for several years and this is what I learned. Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Jentkes. As the educational developer at the Department of Management, Technology and Economics, I support our faculty to teach with more impact. I've been involved in the successful submission of half a dozen projects and a reviewer for Innovatum for several years. Let me share a few tips from my experience as a writer and a reviewer. Dare to innovate. It is always good to know what is the state of the art with regard to innovative teaching in your area. Check out recent publications, blog posts, conference programs to get a better feeling of what is out there. Talk to people in your networks and at ETH about what is new and innovative with regard to teaching in your discipline. What can be transferred from another discipline to a new context, your context. Check out previous Innovatum projects in the project database to find inspiration for your ideas. Innovatum has different grant schemes and it is important to choose the one that best fits your project. There are focal point projects with different focal point themes. And there are teaching projects, but they have a longer review period. Deadlines for these projects are 1st of March and 1st of October. Important to note, they also have different budget limits. In addition, there are also separate funding schemes for massive open online courses, MOOCs, and blended learning projects. And also degree program initiatives, for example, for the reform of a whole bachelor's or master's program. These have four deadlines a year on 1st of March, May, October and December. If you are unsure which one fits best, reach out to the people at Innovedom. Your proposal should come from a clearly identified need. These can be your learners' needs or the teaching team's needs, or challenges from your teaching scenario in the past for which you seek easier, better or more efficient and sustainable solutions. It is important here that you are as clear as possible. Try to explain your idea in a few simple sentences by using examples of how students will experience your intervention. For reviewers, it is challenging to assess a proposal if the general setting is not clear. Provide a context for the didactic innovation, like what is the course format, how many students are expected in the course, and which study backgrounds are there. What is the size of the lecturing team running the innovation? When and how will students interact with the innovation, how will they benefit from it? Feature the voice of learners. This aspect makes your proposal more accessible because learners provide their own perspectives. It helps identify the need that your project addresses and it helps reviewers to see that your proposal has had a round of feedback from your learners. It integrates suggestions, advice and expertise of other teachers, of educational developers and instructional designers. It will help you frame your project and reference the state of the art in innovative teaching. It can help you connect to ongoing initiatives and faculty who can help you set your project up for success. Reviewers usually try to step into your shoes to understand your project idea and how you want to realize it. They may know from experience what is realistic to implement in given timeframes, who else should be involved at different stages and how fast or slow some processes may be. And each project plan comes with a budget. Use realistic numbers. If you have to guess, ask those who may help you make more educated guesses. Now, what reviewers love to see? Within Innovatum, those who are in the pool of reviewers are keen to get to know your project idea. The whole point for me as a reviewer is to help improve the quality of education for students at this university. We want more innovative projects to become reality and we want to help you avoid roadblocks and delays. When I receive a proposal for review, I have the challenge that, most likely, I did not do my studies in the discipline this proposal is coming from. Innovatum does not match those who submit proposals with reviewers from the same discipline. Instead, it is the type of didactic innovation that helps to find the best reviewer. So reviewers will look at the didactic elements in your proposal and these are the centerpieces of your proposal submission. Envision a long-term future for your project, a future after the funding runs out. How could your ideas continue? 
include one or two sentences that show that you are thinking about this too. Your project, if funded, becomes part of a conversation about improving the quality of education at ETH. Be ready to share what you're learning from the project and the impact it has on learners. We have several formats, such as the Refresh Teaching Series, where you can share your insights. Also, showcase your project at conferences and in blog posts. All these tips can be summed up in one take-home message. Get feedback early. Start writing three months before the submission deadline. And you don't need to write every day, but make a first draft, closely following the Innovatum submission template, and talk with someone about it to gain more clarity about your core idea. Develop a second draft. Send this one out to get feedback from a few learners, other teachers and didactic experts to incorporate their ideas. As a proposal writer and as a reviewer, I find the Innovidum grant to be very accessible. A good proposal will already be a good project plan for you. It does not take too much time to receive an answer after submission. And there's a support network available at ETH to help you develop your ideas. We encourage you to give it a try. Dare to innovate your teaching.